Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Simplified Computer Science Concepts by Professor Rutuja. Today we will be learning central server algorithm in distributed shared memory. So let us start with the algorithm. The name is central server. The name itself suggests something to us that is there is going to be a central entity. Now what is that central entity going to be? It is nothing but the central server. The central server is the one who is maintaining all the shared data and the resources. The clients are connected to the central server. The clients uh, can perform two operations. One is read requests and the other one is writing. Now, when whenever the client is sending the request to the central server, the central server in turn will return the data items that was requested by the client so let us look the look at the illustration so this is the client it is sending the request the central server processes it and accordingly sends the response to the client back again the second operation the client performs is that updating the data on write request that means the client the client performs write requests uh, uh, on the central server the central server will make the updates and in turn will return an acknowledgement message to the client saying that whatever changes have been asked to be done are updated in the central server site so that is about acknowledgement message now a timeout mechanism is deployed to resend the requests in case of failed acknowledgements let's say the acknowledgement message that central server sends after updating the data fails so here a timeout mechanism is deployed what is a timeout mechanism a time interval of some seconds let's say here consider 5 seconds has been uh, kept now after this 5 seconds or within this 5 seconds if the response or the acknowledgement from the central server does not reach the client the client understand that there is some error in the transmission so therefore it resends the request then the duplicate write request can be detecting by associating sequence number with the write request so if the write requests are duplicate write requests then we can detect them by associating the sequence numbers to these requests so the failure condition is returned to the application trying to access the shared data after several retransmissions without a response so let's say the central server is not able to respond to the request so what will happen the client will retransmit the request frequently now after retransmitting still the central server is not able to send the reply and the client does not get the reply in that case the central server returns the application that it is a failure condition then let us look at the merits so merits are it is simpler to implement however central server can become a bottleneck why bottleneck because it, because it is the central or we can say it is a single point of uh, contact wherein uh, all the data is dumped and all the clients read from that uh, read from there and write write into there so that is why the central server becomes a bottleneck so to overcome this what was a solution that was proposed was that this uh, let us replicate the central servers and shared uh, and distribute this shared data among this central servers so if you just look at this the shared data is distributed among central servers so even if one central server fails the other two are up and running so that if one is failed the system does not come to a halt it still works but with lower performance now in this such in such type of cases what is difficulty is that how the clients will locate that from which particular central server data has to be accessed so a better way to distribute the data is to partition the shared data by address and use a mapping function to locate the appropriate server so this was all about central server algorithm in distributed shared memory. I hope you have understood the concept. Thank you for watching the video. 
Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day ahead.